Have you ever wanted to stream to multiple platforms at the same time? Have you tried services like Restream, but hate the gross watermark that's put on your video? Well, today you're in luck. In this video, I'll show you how to stream to multiple platforms for free with no watermark. The first thing we're going to do is add a free plugin to OBS that will allow us to stream to as many platforms as your internet will allow. The link to this plugin can be found in the description below. Follow the link to the OBS project's website and go to the top right corner where it says go to download. You'll notice that it says for version 28, which is the latest version at the time of this recording. Go down to the asset list and download the executable. It should say OBS multi RTMP setup.exe. Once that's done, open and run the executable. I've already done this, so I will skip this step. Next, Open OBS and set it up how you would to stream to Twitch. Go into settings, set your bitrate, and all that good stuff. I recommend logging into your Twitch account, then you don't have to worry about stream keys or anything like that. This is the same process as you would normally follow to stream to Twitch. Now that you've got your main output set up, go back to the multiple output dock. If you can't find it, go to the top and select docks. You should see a multiple output in the list. Next, we're going to select add new target, and a window will pop up. You can name this whatever you would like to whatever platform you might be streaming to. In my case, I'm going to use YouTube. Now, in order to fill out the rest of this information, like the RTMP server and the RTMP key, we need to open up YouTube and create a new live stream. Make sure you're logged in and go to youtube.com. In the top right corner, select the little camera icon and select go live. This will take you to the creator dashboard for your live stream. Now, I've already got multiple keys set up, but I'll create a new one for the purpose of this video. You can name the key whatever you'd like and give a description, which will be the default description. Select RTMP default. I recommend turning on manual settings so you can adjust the resolution you'd like to stream at. Make sure the resolution matches what you're going to output because they need to match or it won't work. If you're going to stream at 60 FPS, make sure you check this box. When you're finished, click create. This will generate a new stream key for you. Next, we're going to copy the RTMP server back to OBS and paste it in the appropriate box. Do the same with your stream key. Obviously, I'm going to blur this one out. Don't share this with anybody, otherwise anybody could stream on your channel. The easiest way from here on out is to leave everything as get from OBS. This will ensure that all your encoding settings are exactly the same. This will work for most users. There's a checkbox at the bottom that says Sync Start with OBS. This is an optional feature. When you start streaming, it should start streaming to both platforms. I leave this unchecked. When you're done, hit OK. And that's it. All you really gotta do now is set up your scenes how you would and hit the Start Streaming button. When you start streaming, it'll only stream to Twitch until you hit the Start button on the YouTube link we've put below. Unless you check that box, then it should stream to both at the same time. You can also set this plugin up to stream to other platforms like Instagram or TikTok. But for the purposes of this video, I only did YouTube and Twitch. But the process should be very similar. You would just need to find the equivalent stream key for the platform you're trying to stream to. And there, it's that simple. If this was at all helpful to you, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. You could also subscribe and hit the bell and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash